So today our topic is food security. In this food security, we have prepared some sort of questions which will be very useful to you people. So go through these priority questions which we have chosen. After that, not only that from this you get the questions for the exam, but give first priority to these questions. Later on, cover all the questions which you can in your textbook, or else materials, whatever you find or not. Right now. now let us take the, in this food security. I would like to give you some sort of description. The description is this. In this description, very clearly, food security. For providing this food security, our government has taken many steps to overcome the problem. Like you know, if you take the pre-independence, before independence, much scarcity was seen due to famines and droughts. Famines are what, like you know, famines are the things which creates a shortage of food for a long period. When coming to the drought also, in the drought time also, you will find that for a short time. So this is famine and drought which we are, which we can define very easily. Now coming to the point, in this lesson, our government after the independence, our government has taken some steps to overcome this problem, to provide the food security. To provide the food security, the main agenda is to raise the food production. So as usually from the year of 1970s, as per the schedule of a second five year plan, they have started a green revolution. From that green revolution, they raise the food production. So as they raise the food production, in this food production, they used some sort of like you know scientific methods and unscientific methods also to raise the food production. Like you know, scientific methods they used using high yield variety seeds, H Y B high yield variety seeds. So by using this and also some sort of fertilizers, pesticides they used and by that they raise up the production and also some unscientific methods, unscientific methods in the sense like using more water, whatever it is available in the ground levels, they by using all those things they raise up the production, right. Now they have reached the market that to raise the production, from 1970s they have raised up the production. So after raising the production, what they thought, they want to store it now. To store it like you know whatever the stock we are having by the government whatever the stock is having it is called as buffer stock buffer stock so this buffer stock is nothing but uh, it is being maintained by a thing which is known as FCI this FCI is nothing but food corporation of India this food corporation of India is nothing but storage of food production wheat and rice stock the total stock of food and rice uh, rice whatever wheat and rice whatever it, it is required it is stored by a government with the help of fci that is nothing but buffer stock so this is about the buffer stock very important which you will get for one more so that is buffer stock this buff, uh, once again i am repeating the buffer stock is nothing but the storage of food grains whatever required with the help of fci that is nothing but buffer stock so in this to store this stock the stock is buyed from a farmer, from the farmers, from different different sources they are buying, they are imported. And buying from the farmers, here one more important point is there, that is nothing but MSP, minimum support price. This minimum support price is used for a thing that, that to give the support to the farmers, to raise the food production. This government has fixed the rights and they have given minimum support price. Like this, our government was successful in having this talk of food grains. So that now our government has reached the step to raise the production. Now after raising the production, our government has thought to distribute this production to the food grains to the people to overcome that uh, uh, scarcity of food grains or else uh, starvation of deaths all these things to overcome this our food production they started uh, storing it after storing the food production they started a system which is known as uh, PDS very important topic PDS in this PDS is nothing but public distribution system in this public distribution system like uh, they have started number of things like ration shops Anganwadis, midday meal schemes, like this many schemes they introduced and they started giving the people the security for the people, like giving the food grains for the minimum price or it's free of cost they started giving, so that the people get the food security, they started giving it, like if you take ration shops, in the ration shops they were given white ration cards or Antodaya cards, from these Antodaya cards these are been introduced in south, south of India, in these Antodaya cards they have given that 
at 35 kgs of rice for each card that is only about per kilo 1 rupee of uh, cost so like this they started this antodayas and they started giving that rice to the people and also through this ration shops they started uh, giving uh, some sort of like you know basic requirements whatever they needs dal oil edible needs whatever the edible needs they have provided to the people through this pds system with the help of ration shops when coming to the thing to support the children they also started midday meal schemes the student whoever is coming to the school they started providing midday meal schemes so in this you should understand very importantly icds icds is nothing but integrated child development scheme once again i am repeating integrated child development scheme so in this integrated child development scheme if you see that if you take that anganwadis is also one of the example that is nothing but the children who are born till 5 years whatever the requirements they want that is the to be the child to be a nutritious child so that uh, the child will overcome that starvation problem so they started this pro this schemes like anganwadi schemes midday meal schemes so that they started all these things so now up to here we have discussed that how this food production has raised what then what steps they have taken after that the food production rises the step which they have taken about the pds systems about these three steps we have discussed here very important question you will get that is what is the need of food security why is food security related is a question mark so for this purpose you will write the answer in a way like this it is very clear that food security is for various purposes the main purpose of the food security is no person should go for bed with empty stomach this is the main answer for why the food is why the food security is needed here very important question which you are getting from the food security for the four mark here if you see that describe the relation between increase in food production and food security question i am repeating once again describe the relation between increase in food production and food security this is very important question number of times it has been repeated for the examinations so that give first priority for this question so now let us go in detail with the answer now here very clear that the answer for this answer we are going to write in point wise so here if you take first point in the early 1990s nearly 80% of all malnutrition children lived here to overcome that the produce of food production has raised that is the first point so again once again i am repeating here 1990s much malnutrition was seen but to overcome that one they have raised the food production that is the first point which you can understand very easily coming to the next point not only availability of food production but also we need to offer to buy it the people need to offer to buy it so this is the second point not only availability but also people can offer to buy it this is the second point next coming to this is very easily you can understand like how you can understand the availability of food credit is there but if the people don't have money how can they buy they cannot buy so that the government should support the poor people providing them for the less price so that can be done with the help of pds system in the ration shops already we have discussed that question now coming to the third point by increasing local food production and productivity third point very important key here if you see that by increasing local food production and productivity once again i am repeating by increasing local production and productivity if you increase that production and productivity then availability of food grains will be good so that the people will get that food and uh, they can overcome that problem the people get the food security by that increase in the food production coming to the fourth point it is very clear by increasing food imports on a regular and assured basis see here you can understand very easily food if food is not produced here much produced here we can import it from other places so that whatever the scenarios are running on the basis of the scenarios which are running we can import the food production whatever we need if we import then we can overcome the problem that uh, the requirement of food grains will be there and we can provide the food security for the people so that is the thing next coming to the fifth point very important by increasing food distribution system wow, we have already overcome this one fifth point i am repeating once again by increasing food distribution system we can increase food security 
again i am repeating very important point by increasing food distribution we can increase food security like how if you place a number of distribution system if you brought a number of distribution system then that will reach to the people then once if you reach to the people automatically the government can provide the food security so that is the fifth point now coming to the next point if our country produces more grains achieves then it achieves self sufficiency so here next point very clear but here if our country produces more more food grains then it achieves self sufficiency that is nothing but we can we there is no need to depend upon imports or else some other things if you produce more then it will be more enough more flexibility food grains will be available to us so that we can overcome the like you know food security we can give to the people and we can overcome the starvation deaths and uh, the poor will not suffer that they don't have the food coming to the next point it is very easy like you know simultaneously increasing food production can give food security see here if you increase the food production automatically we can provide the food security and overcome the problems of poverty here very clear once again i am repeating simultaneously increasing food production can give food security and also overcome the problem of poverty comma we can also overcome the starvation deaths and also we can develop like you know as we are in the undeveloped undeveloped nation if you think we can go to the developing nations if food and basic needs are available to the people very nicely then we can reach the developed we can become as a developed nation so here very simply you can understand that if you raise the food production you can give the food security so this is the important question for four more questions which you need to go through these are the questions very important priority one questions which you need to take care in this food security